Hi, in this video I'm going to go over a couple things in Google Calendar. The first thing is we're going to go over how you can check the availability of other people in the district to see when a good time that you all can meet, and then how you can schedule a meeting in Google Calendar and invite guests to your meeting. So let's get started. You find your Google Calendar by simply typing calendar whoop, calendar google.com or you can go to your waffle and click on calendar so this is my calendar but just so you can see things uh, clear I'm actually going to click off of my calendar so this is just a clean slate to check the availability of other people that you want to invite to your meeting right underneath this thumbnail of the calendar the monthly calendar you can see it says meet with and then right here in this little search box you can add people and search their calendar so I'm gonna do I'm gonna add Katie spent off Gabby of course and let's do Tom since he's right there <laughs> so you notice it drops in their schedule from their Google Calendar so it's important that People are using Google Calendar, so this will work. Um, and it doesn't show like the specifics of their meetings, but it does show that they're busy. So you can see that Katie is in yellow because her name is outlined in yellow. Gabby is green, and then Tom is a pinky color. So if just by looking at this real quick, we can see right here that Tuesday at 1 o'clock would be a good time to meet. And I can even look into next week and say Monday the 19th is a good time. So obviously if I was doing this for real, I would also have my calendar up so I could see what, what matches uh, with my calendar also. So for this example, I'm looking at Monday the 19th looks like a great time. There are two ways that you can create a calendar event. You can go up here to create and then choose event. The only thing with that is you have to be real careful at what time it drops it drops into that created calendar event. For some reason, it grabbed Thursday, September 22nd, which wasn't the time I was looking for or, you know, looking at. Um, so you would just need to be real careful and make sure that it is the time that you wanted because we were thinking Monday at 8 o'clock. So that is one way. It's not my preferred way, um, but I wanted to show you that way because there's always a couple ways to do things in Google. The way that I would do it is it's like Battleship. <clears throat> is you're looking at Monday the 19th, 8 o'clock, and then you go right here. Here's the little box, and then you just click where you want it to go. I have all of my calendar events by default lasting a half an hour. So right here, in it says Monday, September 19th, 8 a.m. to 8.30. So that's how I have my calendar set up. But I can click on that 8.30, and I could say 9. So it is nice to let your guests know how long your event will last so that they can plan accordingly. Right up here at the top, once you know this is a good time, and then you can see it's grayed out right there, and it looks good, you want to add a title. I am just going to say for this example, I'm doing an IEP meeting. I'm going to put my name so that everyone knows that I am the creator of this event and I, I'm in charge. And you never want to put a student's name in your calendar event. But you could put um, initials. So Sarah Hoffman, IEP, Sarah Hoffman, and then in parentheses AB, which are the you know initials of the student but you never want to put full full name you could also uh, put the ID number if you want to but just never 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 put a student's full name um, now as you can see I'm inviting Gabby to the meeting I'm inviting her pretending that she's a staff member so that I can show you what the invite looks like all right so I've got the name of the event the time I know that it's available for everyone I have my guests Notice it defaults to add those people because Google's thinking, well, you were searching their calendar, 
So Google is assuming that you want to invite them. You can also add more people. So let's say I'm like, ooh, I gotta invite Michelle Streeter. So I'm gonna click Michelle Streeter. And then if you notice, boop, there's a little um, Michelle Streeter's calendar then pops up also. So when you're in this um, view, even though I didn't type it over here, it's like, well, let me, you know, and, and this works out perfect because Michelle has a meeting at 1230, but she is still available at 8. And you can add as, as many guests as you would like. You can also delete guests. So you could say, you know, well, maybe Katie, you know, doesn't need to go. <laughs> um, so I've got those people. Um, if it's a Zoom call, you could just click on this and add the Zoom link right in here. Um, I would always add a location. So Meadowvale. Oh, I keep clicking the caps lock. So Meadowvale Elementary School. Um, and then you could add a description. And you could also add um, an attachment. So see where it says add attachment? This will bring up your Google Drive, and you can add attachment. And you could even create meeting notes. So you could start your meeting notes ahead of time, and you could say, add anything to the agenda, and it will be attached and shared with everyone in the meeting. So we have our people. We've checked the availability. We've scheduled a meeting. We're inviting our guests. Looking, Everything looks good. Um, and then you're going to click Save. It's going to ask, would you like to send an invitation email to the Google Calendar guest? And you're going to say yes, and you're going to click send. And I'm going to show you what that looks like for your guests. So here is the, the meeting notification. And then right in here, you can say, yes, you will attend the meeting. And this is important that your guests reply, or RSVP, to your meeting so that when you go into your meeting, you can see that there's a little check mark next to Gabby's name so that I know she's coming. And if there were more invite, I took them off so that they wouldn't get a notification. Um, but if you didn't see that green check mark, that means that they have not responded yet. So you might want to reach out to them, like if it's the day before the meeting, if you don't see that little check mark. So that's a nice way that you can keep, um, Keep tabs on who's coming to your meeting. So that is how you check availability, schedule a meeting, and invite guests. All right, have a great day.